What is up Hoop fans, my name is Jay, and in this video we're going to break down a couple of Duncan Robinson plays for you. For those of you who like these plays, I'm going to leave the down link in the description. Let's get into it. Starting off the play here, Duncan Robinson is going to set a screen at the left elbow. As soon as the two receives the ball, four is going to fake a back cut and do a hard front cut in front of Duncan Robinson going towards the ball. While that's happening, the one and five is going to set a double screen on top of the key. And Duncan's going to come around up top and receive the ball around the right wing slash free throw line extended area. From here, it's up to him if he wants to take the shot. If not, five can dive to the basket and one can pop. Let's go ahead and run that back in real time. One thing to keep in mind if that you are the two passing it to Duncan Robinson, make sure you fade just a little bit so you don't bring your defender to. Next play, we have a little bit of a wheel action. Uh, you'll notice here that Tyler Hero plays more of a decoy in this play, allowing Duncan Robinson to get to the hole. Starting from the beginning, you'll see that the five is going to set a simple screen for the three. If he has it, you can take the shot right there. But it's a little too crowded, so what he's going to do, he's going to go to the right elbow, set a fake screen for a Kyle, and dive straight to the bucket. And because Tyler Hero dragged his man, uh, Alex Caruso, who's probably the best defender on the floor right now, so far away from the play, he doesn't have any time to react. And you may be wondering why the 4 and 5 are so high up on this play. The main reason is to make sure there's no defenders in the paint that can disrupt the action down low. And the last play we're going to look at is one of my favorite plays. They usually run this with Bam, but he's been injured so they haven't really seen it too often. But what you're seeing is a variation of a double cross screen. Now during the first action, if you have a really skilled big, he should be able to go to work straight after the cross screen down low. But on the catch, he pops out a little bit. This time he's going to wait for Duncan to set a screen at the far elbow, waiting for a through cut from the four. The cut's not there, so the two is going to drop down for a split screen. And from here, it's up to them if they want to run another pick and roll or just take the shot if it's there. One thing to remember that if you are the big on this play, it's important that you do not telegraph the pass. I would recommend doing a fake pass to the four or do a couple back down dribbles, making sure that you are not tracking the shooter so they don't play the passing lanes. And that just about wraps it up for the video. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, if you found it helpful, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. And if you think of someone that would benefit from watching this video, share it with them. And lastly, I am new to this YouTube basketball analysis thing, but I am a huge basketball fan. I love playing basketball. So if you have any criticism, any critiques, any ideas, or any kind words, please share it with me. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.